Alhamdulillah, Brother Todd is going to take his shahada uh, and he's going to formally join our community as a new Muslim. Make sure that you introduce yourself, uh, shake his hand, ask for his dua. It is our belief that a person who makes the shahada it is as if they're born again, as it were, with no sins on their uh, scales. Uh, so we ask Todd to make a dua for us, inshallah ta'ala, um, when he does his shahada. Uh, and Todd also wants to just make a brief statement as well, um, explaining why he's uh, becoming Muslim, inshallah, something a little, just very short and expiring for us, inshallah ta'ala. Um, so I'm glad that, I thought my khutbah had scared him off, but <laughs> we found him. <laughs> okay, so Brother Todd, you're going to repeat after me, inshallah ta'ala. You want to do that first? Let's do the shahada first. Yeah. Inshallah. Okay, so. Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa, Illa, Allah, Allah. Wa Ashhadu, Wa Shahadu, Wa Ashhadu, Wa Ashhadu, Anna, Anna, Muhammadan, Muhammadan, Rasulullah, Rasulullah. Ashhadu, Ashhadu, Allah, Allah, Ilaha, Ilaha, Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu. Wa ashhadu. Anna. Annan. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. Takbir. 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 Alhamdulillah. Brother Todd, take it away. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> My heart leapt when I was greeted by my former students. And I knew, uh, which is really the first reason why I converted, um, I found peace in Islam. I found people of peace in a world that's lacking peace. Um, I observed my students, the staff, the families of the Averroes where I used to teach. And I found people committed to faith. And there was something about them that was different. And I, it was irresistible in a way. And so this past summer, um, one of the various teachers conveyed me to um, Zaytuna to study uh, permaculture, which is a form of uh, sustainable agriculture. Anyway, I was up there with Brother Amis and, uh, for a few weeks. And I can't tell you what I found there. It was I, permaculture, of course, but it was beautiful. Um, people of peace, people unassuming, people without agendas, people that just wanted to work with one another, they wanted to support one another, people that were open, people that were friendly. And I, I found myself every day praying with them. I had no idea what I was doing, but, um, you know, prostrating. And I felt part of that community. And that's, I think that's huge. Um, and I'd also be remiss if they're, you know, observing the, the parents at Averroes. And my students, the seniors last year that I worked with on their capstone projects, they wrote about Islam. And I could see the centering quality to it. And I thought, you know, I'm an educator and I want that for all these kids to, to have this marvelous anchor of peace from which to choose and relate to other people. So, um, so there's that element. And there's this young woman <laughs> who's a former teacher at Averroes. She could be my daughter. Anyway, this is a very learned woman. And uh, she was so helpful to me in guiding me. She was a, an exemplar of faith. Uh, really interrogated her faith and I we had so many discussions where I learned and I read and I observed and I interrogated and I went online and I saw all these things and I realized but but the second reason is just is read it's a, it, Islam is a it's a faith of scholarship of reason which is something again which is I think so lacking in the world I my greatest one of my greatest achievements as a father is that my, my children love to read and I think that's what Allah wants us to do is he, I think it's the most amazing instrument that he's given us is to read. It's meditative, there's, there's working memory, there's arguments, there's reflection, there's ideas. So there's that, and I think that Allah wants us to look at everything, at his creations, and to challenge them, and interrogate them, and evaluate them. And one thing that I love about <laughs> Islam is like, there's no pope. Anybody can make, a war, make an argument, but you better be well reasoned. You better have done your homework. And the third thing is just the Prophet, peace be upon him. Um, every day the, the bar seems to be lowered on character 
in this country, which I know as a teacher gets to my students. And in the prophet, um, peace be upon him, I see the exemplar of character. And I want to know, and I want to read, and I want to, I see him as a missing piece in what I'm trying to teach my students. And I want to learn from him. So I'm actually going to begin, really, my real deep, deep dive into Islam through the prophet. And then <laughs> the fourth is, I'm, I have my only experience with the Quran is Al-Fatiha. But I was amazed that in that short verse that I found mercy, but I also see, you know, that's forgiveness. Like we all err, and Allah is so loving us that He, he forgives. And in, in return, we praise, which I think is a form of gratitude, to be so grateful what that means to us. But we have to be accountable. That's where the judgment comes in. And I honor that responsibility. And then the last thing is through this relationship is that he guides you on this path. And this is a path that I've been seeking, which is really the last argument why it's, it's Allah. I, it's something that's been lacking. I, I, I believe in predestination. I believe Allah made me for a purpose. That's why I'm here today. And I believe that this faith is, gives me everything that I need to learn and study for the rest of my days. There's so much. It's, it's, and so I'm starting to learn what that means. I'm, I'm praying right now just twice a day, Fajr and Isha. And some days it's really cold and I really don't want to stick my foot in the sink. But I find that I get what I do, what I do when I get, I'm always happy that I'm praying. I'm always happy and I'm starting to recognize that that structure is there for a reason. And five times a day, you turn to the light and to be reminded of that and to have this constant dialogue with your creator. That, this makes so much sense to me. So, so there you have it. Uh, I can't tell you how appreciative I am of everyone being here and that I'm, I'm, I'm a Muslim. Shalom. Nice to meet you.